challenges by young people trying to solve a cross-border problem has become a multi-billion industry, all because of the effort that young people have put into this. From a few bicycles in the early days, you now have, based on the records that we have been given, approximately 1.4 million motorbikes across the country. So ladies and gentlemen, I will focus my remarks on three things which I consider to be paramount to this industry. One, I will reflect on your potential as an industry and show you how important you are to our emerging economy. Two, I will show you how and what you can become because of your potential. And three, I would like to talk to you about how you can partner together with my government to make the best of an industry that you yourselves have built from ground up. With regard to your potential, if we look at the facts, the border border community across the country carry approximately 22 million people every day. Kweli amasiyo kweli. Right? That means that close to half of the population of Kenya moves from point A to point B using your means of transport. That is the truth. That said and done, it therefore means that nobody has a bigger presence in Kenya in terms of footprint than you do. And that's why we call it the silent miracle. Because from every village to every house in that village, munatoa mutu, ama ni mama ambaya naenda hospitali, ama ni nani, ama ni mutu anaenda kazini, nyi ndio munamutoa kwa ke nyumbani, Muna mpeleka kwa matatu, ndiyo wafike kazini, ndiyo muna toa mama kwa nyumbani, muna mpeleka mpaka pahali ambulance naweza kumchukua. Kweli ama siyo kweli? Sini kweli? So therefore, the border border business supports in total, over and above the people you carry, it supports directly or indirectly approximately 5.2 million Kenyans, again, which accounts for approximately 10% of the population of Kenya. So therefore, there are 5.2 million Kenyans who either directly or indirectly depend on the business that you do. Is that correct? And therefore, it means if we just go by the facts, and that's why I said that's the first part, that one in every 10 Kenyans makes his livelihood because of the business that you do. One in every 10 Kenyans anapata chakula yake ya siku kwa sababu ya biashara yenu. Sini namna hiyo? Ataka tupelekane tu pole pole. I believe this is significant because this mode of transport is still, in many ways, relatively new and remains an invisible giant in our economy. I think, as Bwana Chairman, you have mentioned, I think, as the, the Chairman has also mentioned, we also need to reflect on the income that is generated by this sector. And when we reflect on that, just by sheer estimates alone and by the numbers and the volumes that you carry, we assume that every year, in totality, the 1.4 million riders and the ancillary services 
makes approximately 357 billion shillings every year. 357 billion shillings. And indeed, as you said correctly, Bwana Chairman, what we give to the counties today, every year, is 316 billion Kenya shillings. So it means that what the government gives to the counties, your association, if you were together, if you were together, would make more than what the government gives to 47 counties in our country. We need to take note of that. To emphasize the point even more, every day, if we take the totality of the 1.4 million riders that we have, that means that every single day, you are collecting an average of 980 million shillings. Kila siku. Kila siku. 980 million shillings. Namu shukuru ya kwamba si jakuja na namu kubwa wa Kenya KRA hapa kwa zababu. Akisikia numbers kama hizi, mutaona vile atawafuata. Akitafuta yake. Yeah? Translate that even further, that means that every week you make almost 6.8 billion shillings. And every month you have the potential to make 27 billion shillings. But the question you must ask yourself is that if you are collecting almost 1 billion shillings every day. Yeah? Kwanini kila boda boda analia umaskini. Hiyo ndiyo swali sasa. Sindiyo? Kwa sababu pesa, hiko mikononi mwenu. Sindiyo? Lakini, bado tunalia umaskini. Sini hivyo? Na sijui kama kuna industry ingine Kenya mzima ambaye inatengeneza pesa kiasi ya kile njini muna tengeneza kila siku. Tumeyalenua na hapo? We are on the same page. Aya. Then we need to move on and say that if you support the livelihoods of one in every ten Kenyans, why have they not transformed their lot substantially? Why have they not transformed their lot substantially? Because that is huge money. And I believe we can answer that question. Because when we have now just described what your potential is, we need to now ask ourselves, what can you become? What can you become? And I believe, and I hope this is the reason, Bwana Chairman, siku niitisha mimi pesa. Lakini ni kuuliza munaweza kusaidiana na serikali kwa njia gani, Ndiyo pesa yenu iwe ya manufaa kwa maisha yenu. Sini hivyo? All right? Because if collectively you make approximately one billion shillings a day and approximately 357 billion shillings a year, already you're a powerhouse. You're a sleeping giant that only needs to be awakened. And that is why the border border investment scheme, I believe, is a very timely idea. And I believe that if you come together under a scheme like this, organize yourselves, and with the support of government, I believe there is nothing you cannot achieve for yourselves, for your families, and indeed for your country. 
But for you to achieve this dream, you must take heed of two very important principles. And the first principle is a principle I mentioned on Madaraka Day earlier this week. And I urged that every single individual should take pride in paying the price for what they want. For each and every one of you and your colleagues across the country to know that I am proud of what I do. I am not a person who is waiting to receive handouts. I am proud of what I do. Yeah? All right? And I am willing to pay the price. Okay? I'm willing to pay the price to make myself better. Iyo ndiyo mwanzo. All right? Kwa sababu ukisikia, unaitua wewe na unajiona wewe ni mtu ambaye sio mtu wa maana, bas, hivyo ndivyo dunia itakutreat. Unaona? Lakini ukijifanya na usimame kama mtu ambaye anajua ye ni mtu wa maana, hivyo ndivyo dunia pia itakuchukua. Yeah? Lakini kama we mwenyewe umejidimin, we mwenyewe, yeah? huna hiyo pride ya vile unafanya. Right? Kama wewe, ya basi wewe ni mutu ya kutumiwa. Sindio? Ni kutumiwa siku hiyo, basi. Kuenda zako, ni kikuhitaji tena, ni takuhita. <laughs> eh? Hivyo ndivyo munataka kuwa? Hivyo ndivyo munataka kuwa? Lakini mutu wa heshma, ni mutu wa mbae, anachukua pride kwa ile ambaye anafanya. Ya? Yeah? ni mtu ambaye anachukua pride kwa ile ambaye anafanya and i believe that if as a border border fraternity in kenya and you make close to 1 billion a day it is because you want to pay the price you want to pay that price and you pay the price by waking up at dawn, reporting to work, kukiwa mvua, kukiwa joto, mugo kazini. You pay the price of servicing your border border loans, ata kama hakuna profit bado kwa sababu unajua risiki yako inatoka kwa hii piki piki. Sinikweli? And whatever the circumstances, you are always there and ready to be in the arena. And that is why I repeat again, you have become that silent economic miracle in our midst. So I want to urge you to continue this transition of continuing to pay the price for your dreams to come true. And I say so because if you do not pay the price, someone will pay to misuse you. Someone will pay to misuse you. So instead of being usable and ultimately disposable, shelf life, shelf life, yake ikiisha, unafanya nini? Si unatupa. Kuna kitu ingini unafanya nae. Kama kitu umemaliza utumizi yake, Ndiyo munaona munatumia wakati ya uchaguzi ndiyo njini mumejazana wee Uchaguzi ukiisha basi <laughs> Mujiuliza kama hiyo sasa ndiyo maisha hile munatafuta Ndiyo hiyo yeah? You must make your lives meaningful yourselves The second principle I want to leave you with today Is an old principle A very old principle but the first thing, if you want to have and to be successful in your life, mbele ya uende useme, sijui ni ataka kuenda kulipa nini pale na kulipa nini pale, kwanza jilipe we mwenyewe. Tunelewana? Eh? Eh, mbele ya useme wacha kwanza niende sijui ni tafute, Eh, sijui kuna spare part moja hapa Hata kama pikipiki itapika ta, 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 ta. Kwanza kwanza jilipe 
alafu hiyo mteja wa pili ndio utaenda kutengeneza pikipiki naye unaelewa eh lakini kwanza wewe ujue nimejili umejilipa kwanza kwa sababu ukisahau kujilipa wewe bado utakuwa eh gobo ni wote tana inaitwa nini sleeve hiyo ya ya wengine si nivyo so the first principle ni kujua utajilipa ujilipe kwanza so the first ride hiyo pesa una, unaweka kando alafu unarudi kazi ya hata kama siku hiyo hakuna kazi mingi ya? unajua at the end of the day you have yako ya right hiyo ni advice kiona matajiri wengine hapa hapa hivi ndivyo wanatembea nyinyi mjue hivi ya mtu anajilipa kwanza alafu anaenda kusema eh nilikuwa na mortgage pale sijui nilikuwa na nini sijui nilikuwa na nini ujilipe kwanza si namna hiyo so i believe that this border border investment scheme is built around that old principle of pay yourself first and if at the end of the day if you imagine that if 1.4 million of you through this investment scheme pays themselves 50 shillings a day as my saving kujilipa si ndio kujilipa that will total to 70 million shillings every day ambaye ni pesa yenu 70 million every day that would translate to approximately 490 million shillings a week that would translate to almost 2 billion shillings every month now 2 billion shillings jameni what is it that you cannot own niambieni ni nani dunia hii tunaita Kenya ama East Africa ana ako na, na, na two billion kila mwezi eh? ya kufanya investment kunahe eh? angalia benki zote angalia na, hakuna mimi sijui ni nani two billion kazi ya jasho yako na ndio ile pale that's the biggest thing there is nothing then you cannot own as young people because if you are making 2 billion shillings yeah mtaata kwenda kuambia rubies kama utaongeza hiyo rebate iwe 4 shillings kama 5 sisi tutafungua petrol station zetu <laughs> eh sijui kama mnanielewa kwa sababu sasa si mko na pesa yenu si mko na pesa yenu so mtakuwa na hiyo nguvu ya kusema eh ne, to negotiate because now yeah mkiambiwa na mtu hii insurance hii ime tu, tunataka tulipe hii na mtu anasema hapana mnasema no problem tutaenda kwa mwingine watu watakuwa wanawakimbiza nyinyi sio nyinyi kukimbiza wale mnafikiri ni matajiri hawa ndio watakuja kuwatafuta pahali mulipo kwa sababu wanajua mko na pesa tunaelewana so that is another important thing and then it means therefore that your members now can borrow mtu kama ako na taka kujenga nyumba yake anataka kuanzisha biashara ya bibi alafu amwambie wewe bibi shikilia hapo mgongo ukipasuka baada ya miaka kumi, mimi nakuja kukujoin hapo tunaelewana eh Hey, kwa sababu baada ya miaka kumi vile chairman amesema we sio kijana tena eh? mimi hata nashindwa mimi ni karibia 60 de bado naitwa kamwana mimi na kamwana ili shabana <laughs> ile ile ability ya kuzunguka na kukimbia ya zamani imepoa eh? hata nyinyi mtafika hapo bwana kwa sababu eh? hakuna moja hapa ambaye hata zeeka si tutazeeka zote Eh hey, na kuzeeka sio ugonjwa. Eh? Hey, ni kujipanga vile utaishi ukizeeka. <laughs> si ni hivyo? Ama ni namna gani wenzangu? Mtu ni kujipanga vile ata ataishi baada ya 
Eh, sio kusema nimezeeka sasa unajaribu kufanya ile kickstart ya pikipiki mguu unateleza nini Hiyo <laughs> sasa unawachia kijana yako wewe endelea na hiyo biashara ya yeah? unarudi kwa sababu ya ile investment ulifanya na ile kiosi kama ile biashara mama alianza unarudi sasa kufanya na mama hapo ukiwa umetulia na umejenga nyumba yako na kijana yako anaendelea ya yeah? Hiyo ndiyo kukuza maisha ama ni namna gani wenzangu kwa sababu mimi sitaki tudanganyane leo tuambiane ukweli yeah? so therefore ladies and gentlemen my invitation here is to ask you in all humility leverage on your numbers don't look at yourself as an individual look at yourself as a community look at yourself as a community yeah Ukiona wale wazee wa zamani ambao walitajirika wakati kahawa na majini chai na hapo ndipo tunataka kurudi hawakutajirika kwa sababu ya effort ya mtu binafsi walisanyana pamoja wakatengeneza strong cooperatives yeah? na pamoja ikawawezesha kutusomesha tunaelewana wenzangu ikatuwezesha na ikawawezesha kutusomesha tufike pahali ambapo tumefika. Right? Hata nyinyi nguvu yenu sio wewe binafsi. Nguvu yenu ni nyinyi mukiwa pamoja. That is where your strength is. That is where your wealth lies. That is where your future lies. Si ni hivyo? Yeah? Point yangu ya mwisho ni vile tutasaidiana. Sisi kama serikali na nyinyi wana boda boda. Vile chairman na hii association yako ya safety how you have led the way in forming this investment scheme. I believe that if all of your people support yourself, support it and you are able to convince them to support it. Right? Because that onus is yours and and your colleagues here. Yeah? you must convince it's not my job it is your job it is your job to make your members feel confident to support it all right it is your job that when fully operational your members will contribute just through this investment vehicle alone almost 25 billion shillings every year while still being left, as I said, it's 357 billion that your industry makes. Why can you not take that 25 billion and invest it in your future? Invest it in your future, right? And that is why I go back to my point, pay yourself first. He in Guinea, almost another 320 billion, all right? Hiyo sasa ndiyo ni matumizi ya kila siku. Ya yeah? ya mafuta, ya kutengeneza pikipiki, ya kupeleka chakula, ule ambaye hana bibi ya kunulia friend soda hapo ndiyo umuongeleshe vizuri. Alright? Yeah? Lakini wewe yako tiari unajua iko kwa mfuko yako? Yako. 25 billion shillings out of 357 is not much of a sacrifice but you have paid the price and you are protecting and defending your future as an individual sinivyo yeah so i want to thank ruby synergy asante sana for what you have done i want to thank kenya commercial bank mightily i want to thank cma for uh, making necessary to have all the regulations and the unit trusts etc uh, 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 in place i want to thank nhif i want to thank all the participants and i want to encourage others to also come on board and work with these people yeah as they say the early bird catches the worm yeah come on board now because if this works how and your watakuwa wados watakuwa wanapika and choose tunaelewana so i encourage all others to come on board 
And I want to assure you, Chairman, and your committee members, that as this scheme unfolds, you can depend on my government's support in ensuring that this endeavor succeeds. More so, because I believe this industry can be a significant contributor both to job creation, but also to the growth of our economy. And again, CEO Mimi Nilisema, ni chairman Nilisema. And if the working life of a Boda Boda rider is 10 years, after which he joins other sectors of the economy, this scheme offers a safe landing for him outside of the Boda Boda fraternity. All these thoughtful social protection innovations around the scheme, I want to promise you once again, will receive the full support of my government. I cannot, at this stage, not fail to mention that there is need to recognize that the traffic rules that regulate border borders are the same rules that, regula that regulate all motorized traffic. You must therefore observe these rules without fail, for indeed the safety of the passengers and other road users is critical to sustaining your business. Sinihivyo. Ningependa kusema kitu kimoja kia mwisho before ni, 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 ni funge. Na hiyo ni wenzangu kuongoza sio raisi. Tunaelewana? Na leo hii ndiyo unaona mimi hatuko na umati. Kwa sababu mimi na address viongozi. Ok? Nyinyi ni viongozi. Yeah? Nyinyi ni viongozi. Na hakuna kitu ngumu kama kuwa kiongozi. Alright? Kwa sababu kuwa kiongozi, sometimes you have to take difficult decisions which are not popular. Alright? But also, you have to consistently endeavor to build trust between yourself as the leader and those that you lead. Because if there is no trust, why should somebody put their money where you are? And the truth is, there have been problems, especially with circles. Mutu ana contribute, anatoa pesa kila siku, kila siku, mwishowe kiongozi ya metoroka na hiyo pesa. Ya? Na ni pesa ya mutu ambaye ya metoa jasho yake, na mekuamini we kama kiongozi. Na nataka ni wambie, there is a trust deficit. Ch ch chairman wa kisi, sijui kama, eh, hey, uko hapa. Tulikuwa na huyu, muenzenu. Kisi juzi. Na nilikuwa na jaribu kuongea na watu, tukaongea. Na wanashika mambo yale yote ambaye tulikuwa, tunasema. Wanashika, eh, hey, ndiyo, ni hivyo. Ni hivyo. Alafu, nikasema, sasa kwa sababu ya vile mune nikaribisha hapa, mimi ningependa. Hata mimi nifanya contribution kwenu ya, ya kusaidia biashara zenu ziendele. Ya? Chairman. Sini kweli? Situlikuwa pamoja. <laughs> eh? Ya keti tu. No, nilikuwa na zenu. <laughs> kwa sababu nataka witness ya kwa zema vile nilizema ni kweli. So, nikawambia mimi ningependa. Ni make contribution kwa sako yenu. Ha! Wacha usikia nduru ile ilitoka hapo Hapana, 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 hapana Iyo, iyo tumekata Nika ambia sasa, sini hii mi nataka muanze kusave Hapana, iyo hatutaki So, mimi nikaona Mimi sitaki kupigana na wenzangu Wame nikaribisha, tumeshinda vizuri eh? Na vile nasema hii ni isio So, nika sema, ok, tukubaliani Mimi niko tiari, lakini nyinyi muamue. Na nikawauliza. Muna ataka, mukikubali, niweke hii pesa kwa sako, nitawapatia mingi. Mukisema ni ya kukawanya ya kukula ya leo, mimi nitashukisha chini. Muna ataka gani? Shukisha! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Nikaona labda sikusikia vizuri. <laughs> Nikauliza tena, mnataka gani? Hiyo mingi ama hii ya chini? 